All right, so Simopolis, the beginning. I'm showing you a little bit of uh, the city in the daylight here so that you can kind of see what we've been doing. Um, we need to work on the industrial area. We need some more industry. If there's a high demand for it, so we're going to add some roads. And then we are going to um, put down some zoning for industry. And I am also... Um, I feel like our, our city is big enough that we could add some public transportation so people can easily get to and from work. So uh, we're going to put in zoning in a couple of these areas. But as you can see, I have a lot of streets marked off. So we have some, uh, some future places that we can put in our zoning. Um, trying to keep it all on one side so the ground pollution doesn't seep into our neighborhoods um, that's how I like to play I've heard some people say you should spread it out but I don't want my citizens getting sick um, it's been a while since I've played this um, so um, I do remember when I first started playing I couldn't figure out why my sims were always sick you know and you know having the little uh, sign that you know people are dying quickly um from illness and so i don't really play i think the way the game was designed i play the way i want to so as you can see i just put in uh the first bus line and that's going to be the industrial bus line and then i'm going to make one that kind of goes through the neighborhood um and kind of crosses around the uh, industrial so there's a cross point so people can transfer buses um, what'll be really fun is when I get to the point where I put in uh, subways and things like that and then you know you can really see uh, how the traffic will work but the city will be a lot bigger before I do that and um, I'm gonna change the colors of these uh, bus lines and I'm also going to change the size of the bus the capacity of the buses so that um, I don't have to keep checking on it um, as frequently the most of the buses start out with 30 passengers and uh, that can you know tend to uh, fill up pretty quick sometimes so um, so we have two bus lines we can see the houses are starting to uh, pop in here from z zoning that I did last in the last episode um, and you can see the little purple bus or mauve whatever color that is um, going through the neighborhood and around and uh, uh, everything's going really good um, I'm going to check our electricity and yes we do need to add some more turbines and you can use coal or uh, oil um, but that also creates more pollution and I'm trying to keep my pollution down to start out with at some point I will probably switch over so right now um, I'm happy with having a turbine farm oh, and I forgot to put water uh, pipelines in front of this uh, building here so they're not getting water uh, fix that real quick and so our electricity is good our traffic is not bad and uh, so we've had 11 pastures on one line, eight on the other, but I do need more zoning because we are still not on the uh, positive side anymore. Um, putting those roads down costs money. So uh, I'm going to finish putting some houses around the park area. I might throw in a couple, couple more roads, um, streets around the park, I mean, uh, around this neighborhood to kind of fill it in plus I want to place a high school because we have I think 60 some high school students who aren't going to school and uh, I, I need to get them in school so we can have some slightly educated uh, people so that when they uh, graduate and hopefully soon I'll also be able to uh, place a college or university uh, so I've decided to put the high school on this end the elementary school is on the opposite end and let's make sure we've got plumbing we do and I'm going to zone some more um, housing around the high school because you know that's how neighborhoods 
are. You have a school here, you have a school there, um, and you have lots of housing. Now, I'm also thinking about, um, while I'm fixing these uh, traffic issues, I'm also thinking about where to put like a gymnasium or a stadium. Um, and initially I thought I was going to put it like right around the high school, but I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, as an actual... Uh, um, my brain just died. Uh, neighborhood. Uh, so we have Hickory Heights and Holly Hills. I actually put the wrong zoning down because this is industrial. So I needed to use the industrial zoning since I have the industrial downloadable content. So I will take out Holly Hills and it changed it to Franklin. You can always just click on the name there and change that if you wanted to keep Holly Hills, but I'm fine with Franklin. Um, so as you can see, we're doing okay, but we still need more money coming in. I spend money very quickly. Um, I do that in real life too. Uh, so probably would not make a good um, mayor or whatever city planner because I, I do like to spend money. So our fire safety, you can see all the buildings in orange. That's uh, they're orange because they're not covered. So we need to get them covered. So I need to put in uh, another firehouse, probably another police station and a medical facility because we want to make sure that people have access um, in their neighborhoods. And while I'm just letting the city kind of build up a little bit, um, giving you another little short tour of what the city looks like. And boy, this is funny looking at it going fast. I actually like looking at the um, cinematic camera view. Um, it does all of this on its own. And I think that's such a really cool thing, but it's, of course, it's a lot slower. And you can always just click on one of the cars or one of the people and kind of follow them and see what they're doing. Um, I've even followed a wolf that was running around or a coyote or something. Um, sometimes you'll see those on the ground there walking around uh, before you start building in your neighborhood. Okay, so we're going to zone a little bit more right here. Around the high school, fill it in. And as you can see there, we have a high demand for residential. So these houses are popping up really quickly, which is good. Um, we have a lot of houses moving from level two to three. And that's always good um, because that means more people are having children in your community. So right now we're, we're still about... 100 no $79 off I think $79 and we have a little over a thousand citizens and um, you know we do have citizens dying we have senior citizens so C citizens die new citizens are born new people move in and this is uh, a lot like real life I guess and so you can see uh, houses going up um, and of course you hear the little dink, um, every time a house expands or somebody moves in. So, um, we do have a little bit of a demand for commercial. So I'm going to put two little buildings close to this, into this, uh, section. Ooh, he just came and picked somebody up. The popos. So we have a house already graduating up. Somebody had a baby. Okay. So we are on the positive side but not by much and that fast we're at night time and i'm probably going to end this right here letting you see the city at night and when we come back in the next episode i'm going to start uh, another neighborhood and um, i'll talk to you a little bit about some of the uh, modding options that you have built into the game which is really cool if you don't know um, this stuff, I was really shocked when I found out um, 
that a lot of the stuff, a lot of the cheats that I like to use, um, unlimited funds and things like that. And like I said, the only reason why I'm not playing with unlimited funds is because I want to learn how to play with a budget. 